What is going on comic book fans? Welcome back to Bruce and Stephanie Comics. My name is Bruce and in today's video we are talking comic book storage. That's right guys, if you collect comic books like I do, you're gonna need a lot of storage. Now, since the mid 1970s, the cardboard storage box has been the mainstay where most people keep their comics. There's two versions of the cardboard box. There is the short box and then the long box. Yes, these are all long boxes and there's more on the floor. I have a lot of comic books, but what if you spend all of your comic book budget on comic books and you don't have the extra money to spend on nice fancy boxes like this? Is there an option for you? Yes, there is. Stick around and you guys will find out. But what if you don't like cardboard and you don't like plastic? Because yes, there's plastic bins out there that are really expensive right now. Is there an option for you that's not cardboard or plastic? Yes, there is and it's fabric and it's really nice. And we're gonna talk about this today, which I just picked up this week. It's a new kind of storage box that just hit the market. Maybe it didn't just hit the market, but it's new to me and I wanna show it off to you guys. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and dive in and show off the cheap or free option first. And then we're gonna go over this nice new fabric style box. All right guys, first up is my cheap slash free option. This actually came to me during the beginning of the pandemic when I was keeping myself sane by ordering so many comic books. There is comic books coming in from all stores all over the place and my local LCS was also doing deliveries at the beginning of the pandemic. So I had a plethora of books and nowhere to put them. But what was also happening is that we were ordering a lot of things for the family to keep them sane. And so we were getting a lot of boxes in from places like Amazon and I was like wait this cardboard box looks a lot like a short box it looks like the same exact size could it fit a comic let's find out oh it is it's like the same perfect size and it fit perfectly all I needed to do was reinforce the top and I was good to go did it have a lid no that's one of the downfalls for my free slap cheap option boxes from Amazon or stores like Amazon is that you don't get lids you don't get the protection you also get kind of sh crappy or I would say even shitty cardboard but if that's just for short-term storage before you get more good cardboard boxes or maybe fabric boxes or plastic boxes I think this is a great option I actually use like I don't know, one, two, three, four, I don't know, six or seven of these upstairs. I collect so many comics sometimes, I just need a quick, easy place to put them so that way they're not gonna get damaged. And I find that these boxes from Amazon work out great for my needs. Now, again, these are cheap. They are not great for long-term storage or anything else, but if you're in a pinch, I find these to work out very, very well. All right, guys, it is time to talk about this new fang dangled fabric and PVC combo box that I found on Amazon. I was actually searching for some new long boxes or short boxes. It didn't really matter at the time. I just needed more storage because I'm running out everywhere I look. And I went to Amazon and cardboard prices right now are through the roof. They want at least $10, if not $11 per long box or short box, which is absolutely insane. But then there was a lot of listing for these fabric style boxes and these were the same price as the short boxes and long boxes. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna order a set. I'm gonna show these off to you guys in case you guys want something other than cardboard boxes to put your comic book boxes in. And again, right now, this is the same price as cardboard boxes, which is absolutely insane. So this is made out of fabric and PVC. So the interior hard parts are made out of PVC plastic. And then the outside is this nice fabric. This is from a company called Leffies, L-E-F-F-I-S, I believe. I'll put the name up on screen, but I've actually had these for a few days now. I've organized some comics upstairs and I actually really like these so far. So let me go ahead, flip this camera around and I'll show you guys how easy it is to put this together and how nice it looks once you get comic books in there. And then I'll talk about what I like about it and what I don't like about it. All right guys, so this box is actually super easy to put together. We got a bottom piece. This is gonna go on the bottom of the box and this is your main box. That's all I had to do was make to get this box ready. We do that. We take our insert. I want to make sure there's a little fabric hook that you can see. This goes on the bottom. Push it all the way down. There's your box. It's already done because the lid is already attached. It goes like that. There's a little vel velcro piece. And there's your box all together. Now they do say this is stackable and I'm gonna say I wouldn't trust it as much as I would a regular cardboard box, but overall this looks so nice. 
and there's like a little thing right here that you can put like a little piece of paper which you can uh, you know uh, categorize your box you can put a little information right there but overall I really really dig this box let me put some comic books oh there's also handles here on the side for carrying your box around like this I guess this is carrying but so far I really really dig this box it's really nice I like that it's black and not white it won't show any dirt or um, grime but let me put some column books in this and show you guys what that looks like all right guys so this is the box closed and then we just go ahead and open her up and there we go that's exactly what she looks like with column books in it add some more light to it give you guys a better look but it's such a nice looking comic book box in my opinion which you know it's a simple thing you know we all collect comics but it's like you know this is actually a really snazzy looking comic book box i really enjoy this box overall but yeah there we go easy to close these handles are actually you can't see the handle from that side these handles right here are really strong. I've actually filled this box all the way up and I didn't have any issues with carrying it at all. I thought those handles would be a little weak, but they're actually not all that bad. All right guys, that's enough. Let's let me get back in the seat and talk about what I like and what I don't like about these comic book boxes. All right, guys, this is the end of the video where I'm going to give you my pros and cons of this box, this new fabric PVC box from Le Leffies, Leafies. But before we do that, let's just go over my free option one more time. This is a great option for you if you don't have a lot of extra money and you are still ordering things for your house on Amazon and a box shows up that is just the same shape and size as your comic book. And that's one thing I do want to say, guys. You want to make sure that your box is as tall, if not taller, than your comic books. You don't want one that is shorter because then your book could fold over and then you're damaging your comic book. A negative about these is also that it's just, it's cheap cardboard. That's why Amazon is able to ship everything in cardboard because they use cheap, cheap cardboard. So this is not really a good long-term option. But if you need something for a quick storage option, I think these are absolutely a great option for you. But if you have the extra money and you want to get something a little sexier in this black fabric and PVC comic book box from Leffies, I would say go right ahead. It feels so nice. The fabric is awesome. You got this awesome lid that's not detachable like this one is from like, you know, the BCW, even though BCW is my preferred storage option. But you know how annoying it is to take off the lid and find a place to put the lid and then you gotta find the correct legs, especially if you have multiple kinds of cardboard boxes because I have ones from BCW from, and then random ones from other stores that I picked up. But this is always going to be attached and it's so nice. And another little option that I really like is this. Um, little holder for a piece of paper to hold a description for it. Description for it. I just wish they had one on this side too, which they don't, which is kind of stinky. Um, stinky, yeah, you know, it's smelly. Um, another uh, thing that I noticed about this box is that this is almost just as wide as current backing boards. It's like a little bit more, but say you had a book in a top loader, this is not going to fit. Like it kind of fits now, but when it, as I push it down, it makes it turn sideways. So it doesn't fit properly. Um, like it does in a BCW box. But that's really all the negatives I have for it. The fabric handles are a lot stronger. This thing is almost completely full and I don't feel like this is gonna rip at all. And again, this the fabric is so nice. The PVC is pretty strong. I don't know if I would feel completely comfortable stacking these things. I think this would be more of like a display type thing. Um, I haven't really tried that out yet and I don't want to damage my books, so maybe I will. But overall, guys, this is awesome. I really like this. These are on Amazon right now. I'll put a link down in the description below in case you guys are interested and you want a quick access to that link. But Leafy's uh, short boxes, they're fabric and made out of PVC. They're absolutely great. Or just order some stuff on Amazon and get some free boxes for yourself because these work out really well for sure. short term storage. All right guys, that is my video for you guys today. A nice Friday video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did and you guys are not subscribed to the channel, get yourself subscribed. Hit that bell for notifications and smash that like button. Also, if you'd like to support the channel just a wee bit more, you guys can become a channel member for just $4.99 a month. And I give away a mystery box at the end of every single month to one lucky channel member. It's filled with $50 worth of column book stuff. And guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys on Monday for my must have pickups. The next 10 seconds are for all my channel members, all 10 of you. All right guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.